Welcome to a presentation of the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics for Virtual Fall Preview Day. Epidemiology is the discipline concerned with studying the determinants and distribution of diseases in human populations. Biostatistics is the discipline that develops, discovers new statistical methods for collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data arising from medical and epidemiologic studies. I'm actually quite used to needing to explain that epidemiologists are not skin doctors. Instead, they study the who, when, and where of illness. Epidemiologists study more than just viruses. Our department has recently developed and established clusters of expertise in terms of both substantive areas and methodological approaches. These clusters showcase the types of work done by researchers connected to our department. Now, here's a message from our department chair, Dr. Severio Stranges. Welcome, my name is Severio Stranges. I'm professor and chair of the Department of Epidemiology and Statistics at Western University in London, Ontario. A few words about myself. I am a public health physician and epidemiologist, primarily working on chronic disease, morbidity, but I've been also involved in many COVID-related projects over the last few months. And actually, I want to say that this is very much the era of epidemiology, biostatistics, and public health science in general, as the latest pandemic has uh, supported the notion that we need to invest in uh, epidemiology training uh, because we do uh, face a number of uh, public health challenges in our society. We have uh, one of the oldest uh, programs in epidemiology and statistics in Canada, if not the oldest. Um, and our undergraduate programs, which is an honors specialization program in epidemiology and biostatistics with both minor and major models, uh, and a range of different courses. Besides the traditional uh, epidemiology and biostatistics courses, we do also cover a number of additional disciplines such as health economics, health services research, public health, and for example, one of the courses that I personally teach is called Epidemiology of Major Disease in a Global Perspective, where we try to address all the major, both acute infectious disease and chronic diseases in the global context. We also have a number of uh, award-winning faculty members, such as uh, Dr. Greta Bauer and Dr. Janet Martin. And overall, we have 26 uh, core faculty members. Uh, most of them are uh, either epidemiologists or biostatisticians, but we also have um, people and colleagues who are experts in uh, health services research, health economics, uh, global health, social determinants of health, um, public health, and so on. I just want to emphasize that epidemiology and health statistics are very much multidisciplinary sciences, and that's the kind of training we offer to our undergraduate students. Some of them will choose to go into a graduate program because we have a master and PhD in epidemiology and biostatistics. Uh, some others will uh, try to take or to enroll in medical schools. And even for uh, those who will uh, choose to have a medical career, again, I want to emphasize the importance of epidemiology and biostatistics training because when we talk about evidence-based medicine, we refer especially to um, assess and provide the best available scientific evidence on a range of clinical issues. And in order to grasp those clinical issues, you need to have a good understanding of epidemiology and health statistics as well. So a great program. We have a very collegial uh, group of faculty members. We are uh, nice people, approachable, uh, we invest a lot of time in the trip. Meaning of our students, and we uh, uh, strive to create the best 
possible environment for our students to flourish and also to, to make great uh, careers. So, again, I hope that you can uh, um, choose and enroll in our program, and I look forward to meeting some of you in the near future. Thank you. The Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics offers honors specialization, major and minor modules. Our students develop skills that allow them to contribute to health policy by providing data relevant to health promotion and illness prevention programs. Courses in our department include major diseases, global perspectives, public health, the design and analysis of clinical trials, biostatistical methods, systematic reviews and meta-analysis, and health economics. The year four research project is the capstone of the honor specialization module. Year four students learn to apply the skills they have developed in the context of an actual research project under the mentorship of a faculty member. Research projects undertaken by honor students can take various forms depending on the supervisor and the type of research they have chosen. Examples of completed projects are available for viewing on our website, schulich.uwo.ca slash epibio. Even the keenest students need more than just homework and tests in their lives. We encourage our students to take part in networking and social opportunities available to them, including our undergraduate student council, our student chapter of the professional organization CSUB, and our student ambassador program, a group of student volunteers who participate in recruitment and outreach events. Now take a moment to get to know Ronald Chung, a year four BMSC candidate in our honors specialization module. Hi, my name is Ronald and I'm a fourth year undergrad student here in the Epi Biostats module. I think one thing that I've really enjoyed about EpiBio is the small class sizes. Um, coming from med side in first and second year, our classes would be comprised of like 800 to 1,000 people. And it was really, really hard to make friends because um, just the sheer size of the people and the types of interactions we would have wouldn't really be very genuine. Uh, but because once we were in third year and EpiBioStats is such a small module with around 15 people, you definitely get to meet so many people and have great conversations about life, about school, and you do make many new friends because you see these people every day, whether it's in person or through Zoom calls. And one thing that I also love about our classes is, you know, the ability to be working in groups. And we have so many group assignments, especially in fourth year. Um, and that really encourages us to have different conversations with one another and to share our knowledge to and be critical and also learn together, which is a really important skill as epidemiologists because in the future, um, we will be working with many people and we will be working in disciplines that do require these multidisciplinary skills that um, we have as epidemiologists. You know, we're coming from a very biological background, but we still have a lot of knowledge about statistics and the different softwares that we get to use, such as um, SAS and R and Stata. And I definitely think that the courses in EpiBioStats in fourth year are so interesting. Um, we take courses from like health economics to clinical epidemiology to public health. And, and it's really evident that our professors have a very profound knowledge and in their areas of specialty because in class when they're talking about every single topic, uh, you know, we can really see their passion that they have and the ability to apply these epidemiological methods into so many different disciplines. And I think that's one great thing about epidemiology is that um, it can go through so many faculties and so many disciplines, we're not restricted into one certain, um, you know, just knowledge where the methods that we learn in epi can be applied anywhere. And that's one thing that I do love about this department. So definitely, if you are interested in epidemiology and biostats, I will continue doing research, um, you know, hit up any professors or 
um, graduate students who would be down to um, answer your questions and continue exploring this field because evidently with COVID-19, you can really see the impact that epidemiologists have um, towards public health, towards research, and the implications of um, the knowledge and applications that you learn in undergrad. And this is the only undergrad in Canada that offers a specialty in epidemiology. So um, definitely take advantage of this, learn more, and um, good luck. There are many wonderful opportunities for graduates of our program. Our graduates have the background for a career in a variety of specialized areas, including public policy related careers in government or non government settings, or in industries such as pharmaceutical or biotechnology, where their skills learned can be applied to the design and interpretation of clinical trials. Our undergraduate degree also prepares students to progress to an academic career and their skills learned may be applied to a wide range of research topics. Many of our students have gone on to do their masters within our own department. And epidemiology and biostatistics students develop an excellent foundation to apply for various professional schools and programs, including medicine, dentistry, and nursing. The Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics at Western is a unique combination of old and new. Our department has the oldest graduate program of its kind in Canada, having awarded its first MSc in 1947 and its first PhD in 1950. And our undergraduate degree program is the very first in Canada, having awarded its premier degree in 2016. Thank you very much for your interest in our program.